let me introduce you to Perenoporia fraxinia. This is a hard fleshed polypore, white on the underside, as you can see there, with tiny little mouths, pore holes uh, from which tubes are run, um, through which the spores drop. As you can see there, layers of spores have been left on the surface of these brackets and you can see that the colour of the spores is white. This fungus does sometimes cause confusion amongst those that work with trees uh, with Rigidiporus ulmarius. For me one of the big differences is on the top with Perenoporia it tends to have a black look to it, sometimes shiny like here with the, when the rain has been on it there's a lack of green whereas on Rigidiporus there tends to be a layer of, of algae um, covering it which gives it a sort of greenish look. Also the flesh of Rigidiporus is pinkish when you cut it in half and it will bruise kind of pinkish as well whereas with um, Perenoporia the flesh inside is just pale. This is an, obviously an inedible fungus, this is really, really tough. And with the white spores, this will help differentiate it from the more common um, bracket fungi that you'll see in your parks of Ganoderma. And these will also bruise when you, hand, when you rub your finger along the underside of Ganoderma, they, of these big brackets of Ganoderma, and they tend to sort of bruise dark brown. Perenoporia will, won't do that. It's a nasty parasite, this um, bracket fungus. It, uh, it attacks the uh, roots and the deep tissues of, of these trees, especially ash tree, but other broadleaf deciduous trees as well, but generally on ash. Um, and it eventually um, will uh, bring this tree down. And the fruit bodies will actually continue to fruit. This is a, a wonderful um, display here of uh, Perenoporia fraxinia.